But the high level is this. You produce something of high value. If you don't have that, you don't have a running start. You have that. That's not the end of it. You have to also capture the value. So value, how do you communicate value? If you want people to buy from you or use your services, listen to you, how do you communicate it? Okay, that's a very important point. Those of you who are technical, you don't realize this. You think the product will talk for themselves. I hear that all the time. I have the best, the best technology. It beats everybody 10 times. Okay. Right, but it lingers on the shelf. I've seen that actually. I've worked with startups that come out with top-notch stuff, but barely anybody buy. Throughout humanity, people resonate with good stories. And how do you tell a story? And there is a structure. People who study that, they know. There's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's the end. Okay, in terms of the stuff that we deal with, I recommend to talk about the problem that somebody encounters, the solutions you bring, and the results that came out of it. Instead of talking about your technology, even more, even just instead of talking about your solution, the best place to start is their problem. Start with the problem space, not the solution space. I say that at nauseum, barely a person listened to me. Okay, and I can t I have sold as well. I have been in sale. I can tell you the place to start is with the problems, not the solution, and their problems, not yours. Okay, um, um, so, so the first thing you talk about when you tell a story, if you want to get your, their attention, is the problem. 